Okay. You, the last thing you did was you went to Gilda's house. She gave you a potion of healing in exchange for trying to find her son, Marcus, who has been kidnapped. Um, and then you made your way back to the inn and you fell asleep. So, when you awake, you begin going over all the information that you've currently gathered. So, take this time now to go ahead and go over all the information you've currently gathered. Guess I'll start it off. <clears throat> that women came into the ballroom screaming. Don't you think it was weird that hardly anyone cared? Even though it was supposed to be a gathering of the head members of each nation, they all must have known about the kidnappings, but it seems like they intentionally ignored her. And then they dragged her all the way back home through a forest. I don't know what's happening, but whatever it is, we need to start suspecting that most, if not all, the people that were in that ballroom are complicit. Um, some other information that you have gathered last night at the tavern, you were told by the man who was um, consoling um, Gilda and Gilda herself that um, the last known whereabouts of Marcus is that he was headed north with a strange man um, and that Marcus is not the first child to go missing in this particular town. Um, I mean... I think we should try to go find him, because, you know. I, th I seem to recall that our primary objective for this morning was to look like regular people. Or yeah. look more like regular people. So maybe okay. we should head to the tailor. Okay, there's not a tailor necessarily in town, but there is like a little clothing store. I mean, she does some tailoring, but so are you guys going yeah. to go into town? Yeah. Yes, we go into town. Um... Okay. So to help navigate your way around town, um, you go back to the middle of town where that map was. There are a variety of notable places that you know now thanks to the map at the town square. So on the map, you see the Minstrel's Mead Hall, which is the inn that you were just staying at. Um, you see the Better Dress marked on the map, um, which is your going to be your clothing shop. You see Hot Cross Buns Bakery. Okay. <laughs> you... <laughs> That's really nice. You see Artisan's Carvings, and you see the Church of Hell, where you had stopped last night. Okay. I think, you know, with the objective in mind, Miss would probably start dragging the other two towards uh, the clothing shop. What's it called? Better Dressed? Yeah. I agree that we should go to the clothing shop. Okay. Um, so you go to the better dress, um, and you walk in, and the place is kind of uh, empty. You guys are, like, the only customers that kind of walk in. And there is an elf woman who stands up from a stool where she is um, sewing some material together. And she goes, welcome, welcome. What can I do for you today? Here's her. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't even give her a chance. Y'all <laughs> don't even give her a chance. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure she's very nice. I'm sure she's wonderful. <laughs> she's not <even> <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't even give her a chance, man. <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think I would have. I don't think my character would have ever been clothes shopping. So I don't think she know how to act. Miranda kind of um, she acknowledges uh the elf woman and tells her that 
her and her friends are here to find something more comfortable to wear. Okay. Because yes. I mean, we're still one in... Of the, one of <laughs> so the clothing, she... please. I would like one of the clothing. Yes. She... <laughs> she takes a look at... She kind of looks you guys up and down and you see her eyes light up and she goes, Oh, absolutely. Um, and she stands up and she uh, goes towards the front of the store where you guys are at and she goes to this cloak and she holds it up and she goes, this is my most prized possession, the cloak of many fashions. Now I can tell by the clothes that you're wearing, albeit tattered they are, that you all have some very nice taste. This is the cloak of many fashions. It can be any size, shape, quality that you want. Only 50 gold pieces, quite a steal. Uh, that's a lot of gold pieces. Miranda kind of like slightly whispers to whoever's like right beside her, this uh, uh Sinura or Mako. I'm like, who did she? Who does she think is gonna pay fifty pieces for that? <laughs> and then just kind of smiles <laughs> at her because she, she knows um, she doesn't want that. <laughs> I mean, I only have I only have thirty gold pieces. Like, even if like. That would be only one piece of clothing between the three of us, because yeah. I'm pretty sure none of us. Just, we could do unless the, somebody we could do the been kids in the trench coat thing. Um, yeah. she kind of yeah. sees your the looks on your faces of being like, "Girl, who's not that, that one?" Um, and she goes, "Oh well, what about these?" And she she uh, gestures to a, a homemade mannequin that has some finer clothing on it, uh, and she goes. 15 gold pieces for the whole set. Um, when you say, like, finer clothes, what do you mean by that? They are, they are, like, made out of blue and purple material. They have a nice cloak with a, with a ornate clasp. Um, it's, it's clothes that you would normally wear. They look a little more noble and regal. Um, but it's not like armor or uh, plain clothes or anything. It's it's definitely stands out in its colors and okay. its style. Okay, so my thing is, aren't we trying to like blend in and yeah. not stand out? I'm like, okay, lady, Correct. look, look. I think we're looking for something a little more economical. She um, kind of falls. You can see her demeanor kind of like she's like disappointed that she's not going to be able to make a big sale today. Mm -hmm. And she gestures towards the back of the shop and she goes, we have all manner of uh, more common dress over in the back. Um, just let me know if you need anything or have any questions. And then she returns back to the back of the shop where she is not like a separate room back of the shop but you know where she's like sewing her um material in her hands okay so um what she has showed you now is the cloak of billowing no the cloak of many fashions which is 50 gold pieces um you see lots of other clothing standing on mannequins as you kind of walk through the shop they're each labeled. You see a cloak of billowing. You see clothes of mending. Um, you see some costume-looking clothes. You see some hats, um, some typical just robes. Um, and then you see some clothes geared towards in the back stacked up. Kind of like, you know, like Old Navy, how they stack up the shirts and stuff and the pants on the tables and stuff. That's kind of like how these uh, common clothes, it's just listed common clothes, shirt, pants, boots, um, are, are stacked on the tables. And then in the, so that's in the right hand corner. In the left hand, like back <coughs> corner of the store, you see it lists traveler's clothes where you have um, some more padded clothing, you can assume that it's made out of a stronger material. 
it just looks more suited for traveling and for adventuring. Okay, let me let me call mm. them Traveler's Clothes. Yeah. Okay, so a whole set of Traveler's Clothes, shirt, like little cloak, pants, all that fun stuff. Um, you can see by a little chart on the table that a whole set is going to be two gold pieces. Oh, bet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's get it. Okay, I guess I uh, I get three sets uh, for all of us, and I take them up to the lady. Oh, um, wow. And I drop six gold pieces um, on top of, like, the because they're all, like, folded, right? And I drop, like, six gold pieces on the top of the... I'll be like, okay. um, I'll, I'll get these, please. Okay, she she kind of looks through your selections, uh, making sure that the totals and everything adds up, and she takes the six gold pieces, and she goes, is there anything else I can help you with? Would you like those clothes that you're wearing mended? I could do it for a small fee of one gold piece each. Uh, what, do we, what do we think? We could carry, uh, we could still carry them. Um, that's what I'm saying, but like... I, I don't... I, I'm just trying to think. I don't know. Would we need to switch out clothes at any point for some reason? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, we don't... Because if we did... If, like, if for some reason we needed to, like, of course we wouldn't want them looking beat up, or unless we did want them to look beat up for dramatic effect. <laughs> but, um... Mm. I don't... I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I don't I'm, think I'm thinking, that's something... Thinking... Uh, not really. Yeah. Um, I'm like, no, that's quite all right. It's your six gold pieces, and she um, just kind of pushes the clothes towards you, and she goes, well, thank you for shopping at the better dress. Perfect. Okie dokie. So now we all have fucking, uh, oh, we all have, uh, we have <laughs> Yes. Cool. I mean, did we change into them? She does have dressing room, dressing rooms, a dressing room. I'm doing air quotations, dressing room. Mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to change, you could change. Okay, gotcha. let's do it right yeah. now then. I think I'm we a, take I'm turns a... yeah. doing that. Slide of hand check to see how well you put on your clothes. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you put on, you're wearing your new clothes. You feel a lot more comfortable and you look like you blend in a little bit more. Perfect. Yay. Okay, so now where do you want to go? Um can you can you say all the stuff that was in the the village one more time, please? So you have the minstrel's meat hall, the inn where you were staying, the better dress where you just were, hot cross buns bakery, artist Arderson's carvings. Um, and the Church of Hell. Those are like the big notable locations. Can we can we check out artisans' carvings? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to see what's in there. Okay. Um. So artisans' carvings. You go up to the building and you can tell this is like a workshop. <laughs> and inside, um, there is a dwarven wood carver currently working on a wooden doll. You can see some of his work displayed in the shop, and his dolls are scary lifelike. It looks like actual children sitting oh, on God. the shelves. Um, and as he's working, he's kind of muttering to himself, the faces, the faces, the faces. Um, and he doesn't notice you come in. Um, so I turn around, um, <laughs> open the front door, and walk out of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I know not. You not... Are doing. I know what you two are doing, but like I'm not. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of sus. And like <laughs> realistic looking kids and kids going missing. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. <laughs> oh. Like that, that, you know, I could really go for a, I could really go for a bun after that experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so are you gonna hang around or talk to him or anything, or are you gonna leave? I think we, I'm a dip. Yeah, I already, <laughs> I already tiptoed out. Okay. 
Um, so did you want to go anywhere else in town? So at this point, as it's, you know, your morning is kind of uh, waning at this point. Um, and you wa- walk out of Artisan's Carvings and you can go to other places in the store, but you also remember that they said that uh, Marcus with that man is headed north. I know I can go for a bun, but I think we have uh, a task at hand, so okay. we should get going. Yeah, I agree that it, we don't want to wait too long. Um, pretty much, like, we just need to... I also agree. We all just need to deal. All right. Okay, so you start heading north um, as the directions marked on the town map, and as you know just from the position of the sun and all that fun stuff, you're heading north. As you head north, you find a fence separating a great farm from the rest of town. For miles north, the only house is but one simple dwelling. Humans work in the field, however, they pay you no mind as you walk along the dirt path leading to the house. On the front porch sits a human man in a rocking chair watching the work in the field coldly. Um, and as you approach, he kind of looks at you and he goes, what does a weird looking lot as y'all have to do with me? You're out here, ain't it? You must have some business with me. What is it? Yeah, who wants to take that? Because, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm not a very intimidating person. <laughs> Just fucking nudge at each other like, you do it. No, you do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, do you know anything about, um any children going missing around here recently? Children? What the hell use do I have with children? I only employ working adults on this farm. I don't know nothing about no kidnapped children. If you're with the rest of town, they already checked all over my property. Took them a damn good while, too, but they didn't find nothing. Um, I... I didn't mention anything about kidnappings. Um... Well, you said they were missing, didn't you? That implies a kidnapping. And that's what the whole damn town thinks I did. Miranda kind of raises her eyebrow at that, that they think he did it. Well, also, you know, we're on session two, and some of us might be a little rusty with the D&D. But I will hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, that you can always, anytime a PC says anything, roll an insight check oh. to see if they're lying or not. You're absolutely right. Can I do that right now? Yes. Okay. What's up? Fuck. Tell the truth. Can <laughs> somebody else I don't know. inside chat? <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not so sure about that. You, y'all roll an inside check, bro. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Deja! Hold on! <laughs> inside. Right, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Miranda. He's <clears throat> lying. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> um now in the future I will not hit hit nudge nudge wink wink <laughs> let you know that you can roll an insight check when an NPC says something. You know, now from now on you'll have to keep that to in make... your brains for yourself. Okay. Um, um... So because I know that he's lying, can I try to intimidate him to give us some information? Sure. Roll an intimidation check for me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please. He okay. is not quite intimidated. Um, and he kind of sees what you're trying to do. And he goes, what the hell is this? What do y'all want? Um, yeah, I say we, we just want some information. Uh, we have, uh, if you can give us that, uh, then we will give you no trouble. Already told y'all, I don't have no information about no damn kidnapped children. You're lying. <laughs> Do you say that? Yes, and she's just like blankly staring at him. <laughs> um... I, I raise my eyebrow. He, I'm like, ooh. 
<laughs> at, at your words, Miranda, he kind of looks at you and goes, Now, if you don't get off my property, I will call the town militia and I will have your asses hauled back to God knows where. So you better leave. <laughs> I think we should call his bluff, honestly. I don't know. I'll defer, I'll defer <laughs> to y'all. I ain't like his tone, but like I said, Miranda tried not to have an attitude. So. <laughs> oh, by the way, here's him. I keep forgetting to show Pete pictures of people. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> got to get roasted. Okay. Okay. So, so what Backtrack. I'm gonna do, no, what I'm going to do. What I'm gonna do is Sorry, I'm, I keep forgetting. I'm so oh, not God. used to having pictures of it. We're, fin- we're going to dip because he's going to do oh, some shit. Bro, he Shit, bro. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna, do. Like, I'm gonna cast guidance, right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm touch myself. I'm gonna like, you know, like, yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Um, and I'm gonna try to intimidate him. I'm gonna try to get some information out of him. I'm like, and so, like, Boy, I kind of like, s- kind of slam my fist down on the, uh, the arm of the chair, and I'm like, I know you're lying. I, uh, do a little, uh, one of these, right? God, Ooh. fucking mm. damn it. Hold D4, please, please, please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> bro, this dude, this dude is not a this snitch, This is because, bro. this is because you rolled all them damn dice. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the game getting back. <laughs> yeah. He ain't taking it. He just he just looks me. He down is eyes, like stone cold silent. Like he doesn't even fucking. I cast guidance. Yes. I cast guidance on Mako. How about that? Okay. I like touch Mako's oh, shoulder. Just... Like I'm putting my hand on his shoulder. All right. We just go in. Tap her in. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. <laughs> yeah. He is okay. not. He is not intimidated. No, so I produce I produce from my uh, my bag one of the um, one of just one of the papers that would be in my backpack that's related to this stuff, and I say, he this uh, this right here is a warrant for us to to search your property. So you're going to let us do that? <gasps> Hold on. Okay, you're gonna have to repeat all of that because. You're gonna have to repeat I, all that because I, I got skip? a phone call. No, I got a phone call. And okay. It interrupted everything. Okay. So I produce from my bag, you know, one of those sheets of paper that is related to the reports about the kidnapping, and I, I, I lie to him and I say, this, I, what I have here is a warrant for us to search your property. So you're going to let us do that, or we will be calling the militia. Um. Roll an intimidation check with advantage. Okay. Um, with what does guidance do again? Uh, you just you add a D4. D4. Okay. Oh my god, please. Okay, and then add that D4. Okay. Yeah, yeah I did. So that's a 17 total. He uh, looks you. He looks at you in the eye. And you can kind of see him, like his his lip quiver slightly, um, mm-hmm. and he turns his head and he like, you know, like hocks a loogie and he spits it off his porch, and he goes, "Fine, but you're not gonna find nothing here." Um, and he gets Let's up go. and he walks. He opens the door to his house and he just gestures for you to go ahead and go at it. Okay. Okay. So, so, uh, we hey, in the house. We in the house, okay. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> We're actually in the house. Okay. Uh, I didn't go re- ahead. You're, you're, because you're looking <coughs> for stuff specifically, when you go into rooms and things, you're going to be making investigation checks, not perception checks, because you're looking for something specifically. Okay, mm-hmm. do we want to like split up and try to see, or do we, well, how do we want to do it? Yeah, I think we should split up. I think we should split up. Okay. Agreed. Well, 
You still I'm have not guidance the best, for, uh... You still have guidance for one minute, Isaac, by the way. So <coughs> add a d4 to all your uh, investigation joints. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna I'm search this room. Okay, I will search this first bedroom. Okay. Alright, so oh, I'm already like, over here, I can look over here. There's no grid to snap to. Investigation check for me, all of you guys, for your room. Investigation. Oh, oh, okay, I see you. <laughs> okay, grading, you're gonna hate me because you There's searched no this room high and low. You were like knocking on the floors, on the walls. You were like looking for something and you don't find anything out of the ordinary. Okay. However, you do know that that, that there's no, like you've searched this room like there was nothing in this room okay okay gotcha. mm -hmm. um deja you don't see anything out of the ordinary and mako you don't see anything out of the ordinary yep nothing in this bedroom nothing in here there's nothing in here either okay i'm gonna go across the hall and investigate again investigate 311 okay um Okay, Malamonis. Uh, you don't see anything strange. It just looks like a regular bedroom. Thirteen for me in this bedroom. Uh, Mako, you don't see anything strange in the bedroom. Uh, and Miranda, you don't see anything strange in the bedroom. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, time to investigate the bathroom. Maybe we're missing something. I'm a. I'm a. I'm. I'm gonna check this bear right here. Okay. Pull up my stairs. Wow, Isaac. Yeah, Mako. Nope, nothing. You can't even tell it's a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who sleeps in here. <laughs> it's a very small bed. Yeah. Can Miranda. Can investigate the either. room that he just investigated? <laughs> Sure. No, you don't trust me? Oh. Miranda, you don't find anything strange. No, I, I, I tell uh, Malamonis, I say, I've thoroughly investigated this bedroom. I don't know why you're, why you have to as well. That's not <laughs> a bedroom. That's a bathroom. A what? Miranda's like <laughs> cackling in the background. <laughs> Let's go. You oh. know it's a bathroom. Um, there's also nothing in this room. So he ain't got nothing? Oh. Nope. Wait. There's a, there's, a, there's a storage room over here, isn't it? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. The closet. That's actually like a little study. You can see like a little desk Well, we did Well, we didn't mm. check the study. Okay. Go ahead and roll for me. The bathroom. Mm-hmm. I'm coming in there too. Y'all ain't gonna leave me out here. We're all studying. I got another nat 20. Wow. I'm oh really popping up today. Yeah, so, uh, Sinura, you don't even have to take two steps in this room before you, same with Miranda, before <laughs> you realize Christ. that <laughs> the floor beneath you is hollow. Okay. So, whereas Oops. every you've, wa you've been walking on this wood, and it's made a certain noise. The moment mm -hmm. you step into this wood, this room, you can hear a different noise that the wood is making, and you oh, yeah, know yeah, 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 that yeah, it's yeah. because it's hollow under mm -hmm. there. Okay. Um, uh, I say to the others, should we should we make him open it, or should we open it? <clears throat> I think we should try to do it ourselves since we lied and said we have a warrant to search his house and all this stuff. So I mean, in his mind, we can do this stuff. Okay. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast guidance on myself, uh, uh, <coughs> and I'm gonna like try to like use my strength to like open this floor up. Well, let okay. me move out, let me move out your way first of all. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have a light hammer. I know that's a weapon, but does it have the thing where you can like and, pull nails out of the floor? That's fine. Uh, 
14. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So you managed to pull open this floor. It's really hard. You can't find like a handle. It's more like the floor um, boards are like the floorboards are lined up so that you can't really perceive that the floor is different. But you slip your hand through the cracks and you open up, you lift up the floor. And below the floor, you see a pantry. <laughs> I freaking. Can I make an investigation check in the pantry? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. I still have guidance, so. Please, please. No, bruh. You don't see Jack Diddley. Bruh. Can I look in the pantry? Let me try. Yeah. Yeah, we're all looking in the pantry. Take a look. <laughs> no, De Deja, Miranda. Uh huh. You, um, as you are looking at this pantry, mm -hmm. you can see on one of the, <clears throat> um, you notice that some of the jars seem strange, um, and you pick one up and you realize that it's not it's not full of anything and when you pick the jar up you can see behind the jar and there is a strange little panel on the wall okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna touch the panel <laughs> okay you're gonna touch the panel the panel is not one that really is this. something that's not like a uh, electronic scan, right? We don't. Well, have I was like technology I was for like, that. <laughs> I meant more like I'm like feel what the difference is because I see it, but like I'm gotcha. trying to. Yeah, I um, didn't explain okay. it well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna cast guidance on Miranda because like I I see that like she's she's like figuring it out, and then I'm gonna use the help action um on her to give her advantage. Okay. So you. Oh, th this panel is like, it's part of the, the wall. Mm -hmm. And you notice that there is like a hinge. And you open that hinge. And what you see, all three of you. Is a secret bottle of wine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> is a small, um, it's like a grid where there are, there are certain tokens on slidable uh, paths. Now, over here is a hole, and you can tell by the size and the shape of the hole that you need to figure out a way to get this box, the red box, into the hole. Now, you try to pull the tokens off of their path, but they won't go. The only way you can get this box into this hole it's about sliding some stuff around. Sliding the things around. <clears throat> okay. And uh, you can assume that this is a lock. Now, let me give you the out of character instructions for this. Um, Deja, you're mm -hmm. going to control the little octagon pieces, mm -hmm. the little wheels. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure I'm not telling a fib. Graydon, you're going to control the brown rectangles. Yeah. And Isaac, you're going to control the square. Whoa, so you have so to. Cool. <laughs> now you said throw some puzzles in there. Oh, and I went. So cool. Oh, but what you don't understand is I already had a puzzle in there. <laughs> um, Let's go. So you guys have to work together and communicate so that you can get that red square into the hole oh, to unlock um, the door. Okay. Um, okay. First things first, I think we need to move the far right red octagons into the middle channel to make space to move things around. So, okay, like, so move we these two just in move, the middle? We should just move one of them, yeah. right? We This one this one should be moved up. Okay, or so down, I need to move this, move this one? Yeah. So moving this one right here, right? Yes, okay. and then shift those two over, I would think. All right, cool, cool, cool. Ah. And Graydon, sorry, Malamonis, 
now we need to move this one out of my way so that we can move this down here. I think we should move this one to right here. Move this one up right here. And then I can move this yeah. one up, I guess, mm -hmm. right here. Move that yeah, one up. that looks good. Then move it over. So you can slide that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now it gets kind of tough. Oh no! Hold on. Okay. okay hold on. Okay. Hold on. Move the move. Shift these three over one. Oh this yeah. Row. We can make space. We can make space. We can make space. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Well, just move. actually this row. Okay. Yeah. What? Where am I moving? So these three. Mm -hmm. Just move each of them to the right one. Okay. Right to the right. To the right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, and then... No, that... Um, yeah, down. This this one down. Why she didn't close my door? Sorry. <laughs> oh, and then we can get these top oh, ones. Stop. Yeah. Because we want, it, we want me to be able to move over here. Yes. And then here. So okay. yeah, we want to move these top ones over. Yeah, just okay. slide them all the way over to the left. Alright. Slide to the left. Right. <clears throat> then I'm gonna move these up and yeah. over, or that up. Uh, ooh, do we move that up right now? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. Okay, so do I need to move these all up one, right? And not this one. Yeah, this... Uh stays put, that one stays put i guess mm -hmm. okay let's see well yeah we need this one to if we you want to move that, that one? one up yeah yeah i think let's see we can move that over we can ship these also to the hmm. right one. Which mm -hmm. one? This one? Move yeah, it? this 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 uh this layer right here. Yeah. Okay. So now we have some breathing room. So you gotta think about this. If I do Excuse that. Because like, he... I can do that, right? But should I go ahead and move here? Or uh, no? Wait a minute. Hold on. Move back. Wait. Move back. Move back. What I want to do, right? Is oh, if I, I get I think this one behind you, then yes. it's solved, right? So okay, yes. I think I know. That's I think really I know what you're do. trying to do. If we could, if we could move. So if we can get me down. right here, well, okay. no, if we can get, because the way we were is if you move this one back to okay. the left and this one back to the top. That's how we were. I hang on. So if I move this one down here. Yeah. And then move these over and out of the way. Will that help? Let's yeah, see. yeah, yeah. If we can make space on the left, so yeah, those two, right? And so and now then, we can. Well. Well. Oh yeah. Uh, well, move that up. Well, if we. Well, if you if, you, if you move that over, I could. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you can scoot back. Now we just need to get me in front of you. And then I can move these to where you can move your Yeah, piece. if we can somehow make space for this to go right one. We'll yeah, it move. Let's just say move this. Move this one over. Yeah. And then I can move these down, which give you room to move. There we go. Yeah, move this one uh, down too. Okay. And then, and then you can move this one yeah. away so that he can move out of the corner, right? And then you can move like that, and then I can put this back here. And that right there. Okay. Well, now we how, what do I need to move so that he can move this piece? Do I, up here? Or? Yeah, I'm thinking so. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to move these two over to right there so that he can move up. Um, and then move, move this left and then down. Oh, I 
think we I think we solved it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so then um yeah. move these over. We're gonna have to clear these. We're gonna have to clear these before moving me over. The ones that are next to the hole. Oh, uh -huh. I'm blocking. I'm blocking from clear. Oh, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on, actually, hold on. Yeah, I got move, it. I got it. I, yeah, move. You yeah. move these two to the right so I can move up. Yeah. Cause he didn't need to go back, and you can slide. Well. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We are um, wasting a space that way. Uh, yeah. Tynera. Ooh. Oh, okay. I see what you do. No. Or. No. No. Or. We're uh, wasting move, a space. Move this one. Move this one up to the top right so that he can move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can move forward, and now we have space to rearrange all the stuff behind us, and then you. Can well, move if back. he's, well, if he's right there, then just, I can't move yeah. these. Well, no, just can't move he, this yeah, one, the, and then I'll move back. Okay, I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, right there. Yeah, uh -huh. and then I'll move and then, back. Oh, and then we have shit. space to rearrange all of them in the sides. <laughs> let's go. Oh, let's Look. go. <laughs> Easy. Easy. All right, you hear a click when the when the block reaches the the hole, and Easy. the false wall kind of like squeaks open with the shelf on it. It's really like it. The pantry is kind of small, but you can kind of maneuver yourselves around the shelf as it's, you know, as it kind of like has popped open and it's on mm -hmm. hinges. So you can kind of pull the shelf out and you see a cave. Oh, great. So as you step, do not move your player tokens. Do not look at the map. <laughs> do okay. not do anything. So as you step into the oh. stone cavernous opening, a cold breeze seeps through your clothes and armor. The cave is cold and musty, and as you travel through it, you can hear the soft skittering of creatures sleuthing in the darkness. You make sure to watch your footing, but the walkway stays pretty even. So you're, you start to travel, and you travel, and you travel, and you travel, and it's hours in the dark undisturbed before you reach what looks like the end of your path. Dang. Um, I guess we're... Are we, like, together? Yes, we're together. I'm um, so far away. I guess, uh... Light so you light a proverbial torch. Take a torch away. Okay. Thanks. Kind of, like, do an investigation check to, like, around? I know what you're looking for, so you can make a perception check. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cast guidance on myself and uh, do a perception check. Okay. Whoa, D4. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's efficient. Let's go. Uh, Sinera. So you notice the flat square shaped stone on the ground and scrape marks on the other rocks and dirt around it. Oh, okay. Making it look like the flat stone has been dragged. Okay. Um. Damn. Okay. I mean, I tell the other party members this. Uh, yeah. I'm like, it looks like it's been dragged around. Hmm. Mm. I feel like. Mm. Okay. Uh. It's been dragged around, and the other rocks have like scrapes on them but like how uh, did they get in here this is gonna light rock by any chance like this is that we, right. we traveled for hours to get in here and the only other entrance was in that guy's house um can i can, can i like dr like like uh push the rock to like see if there's anything yeah. under it yes make a strength check for me okay uh my guidance is still in effect so Adding in a D4. Do that in a D4. Oh! I don't need it, apparently. You don't need the D4. Um, you easily slide this flat stone, and beneath it are you see some crude stone stairs descending deeper into the darkness. Okay. Um, Let's go. 
I guess we'll, uh, we'll, uh, walk down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, Graydon, you still have your torch. Yes. So, now you can click and drag a torch onto the map. Oh, lord. Oh, no. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, lord. (laughs) So, deeper in the cave, it's even colder, and the chill shakes you nearly to your bones. The walls seem to be moving slightly around you. Stop moving. <laughs> okay. And you aren't sure if it's a trick of the faint light from the glowing crystals around you. Shivering, you take your first steps forward before hearing a sickening crunch under your feet. No. Brittle bones rest under your shoes. And you hear a skittering noise before a low hiss. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so now you can walk forwards. Hold on. Uh, okay, so since I have dark vision, y'all gonna, want me to kind of go up ahead a little bit? Or... Gonna... Yeah, I also have dark vision. Yeah, we're we gonna, we gonna kind of... I'm gonna recast guidance on point. myself, because this does not look good. Let's, yeah, let's take... Oh, what, the, what is this? Uh, um... What is this? Oh, spiders. <laughs> um, are we in combat, or can I can I still do something? Walking towards you is a spider the size of a dog, and it has friends. Roll for initiative. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before you do that, let me pull up the turn order. Uh, let's go, baby. That's oh, what we're, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. My there role is, is the not what I we're need. talking about. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my... Oh, imagine. Imagine, Just imagine. Imagine unironically. <laughs> oh. Having negative initiative modifier. Bro! <laughs> oh, Lord. Time to sort. Poggy, time, time to throw. To sort. Let's go. Okay. All right. Oh, We're God. initiative. All right, so first is Mako. Mako, what are you going to do? Mako draws her longbow and shoots at the closest spider. Okay, and it is not within five feet, so you're good. Correct. Go ahead and roll that, if you haven't already. Ooh, Seven that is damage. going to hit. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you hit this spider right here. And you, your arrow zooms straight through its shiny carapace. And you uh, see its blood just gush out from the other side. Um, and it is dead zone. Okay. Next in the initiative order is this fighter. It is going to quickly make its way towards Malamonis, who is directly in front of it. (laughs) And it's going to bite. It doesn't hit. Oh, okay, it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. Okay. Next is this next spider, who's going to come towards Mako and try bite her. Another fucking 11. Okay? So these spiders are just not having it today. These spiders suck. <laughs> these spiders kind of blow. Malmonis. Okay. Um, I'm going to do is I'm going to like go around here um, in between these two spiders. Uh, and I'm so going do to... Do they get an opportunity attack, bro? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, they I'm do. waiting to see what he does. Uh, I'm going to use Hand of Radiance. Does that have a macro on it? Let's go. Okay. Is this a cantrip? Yeah, this is uh this is a cantrip. Okay. Oh, this is your busted cantrip. It's not I busted. It. It's not busted. Does this hit me? Each, Each creature, creature of, of your, your choice. choice. Both of the spiders. Okay. Okay. They have Good. to make constitution saving throws. Yes. So first is this spider over here. He's gonna make a constitution saving throw. 
What's the DC? Well, what? <laughs> never mind. <laughs> he don't, don't worry about what's in the coronavirus vaccine. He ain't got to worry about it. This, this macro is in. wrong, by the way, because it's it's rolling 2d6, but they need to roll a d6 individually. Oh. Yeah. And I think they chose the higher value, or it was, it's like with... Um... You want me to roll a d6? Oh, no. Yes, yeah, so just roll a d6. Okay. That spider takes two points of damage. Okay. And this spider. Uh, Oof. That spider oh takes six points what of damage. What is happening? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. This spider right here. That I think the macro does work. Died. Okay. And this spider is still kicking. Okay. Roki. Bruh, take your torch with you. Right? <clears throat> Miranda is noivous. Uh, okay. Is that torch just right here? Oh. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's with me. Okay. Um, I guess I'm, I want to try to move behind the spider, like over here. You can do that. That is behind it, right? And do a sneak yes. attack? Um, so I'm, uh, yeah, he he saw me. <laughs> he actually did not. Oh, he did. You okay? No. All so right. go ahead and do your little sneak attack. Okay, click my rapier. Uh, so you you move out of the periphery of this spider, and you kind of skirt on the edges of the side of the wall of the cave and you dance in the shadows and then you appear behind the spider and you just quickly and deftly with your rapier just slice it through and skewer that spider from its butt to its head and then you pull your rapier out and the spider's legs just collapse and it just falls down and it is Dead. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, guys. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So now that you are out of combat, you can see um, that there are spider webs kind of all around you and mushrooms growing in little alcoves of the cave. Mm hmm. So you walk past the bodies of the three spiders. Where are you going? Uh, onward and upward. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what's in here. What's to yeah. the right? What's to the what? right over here? Yeah, I was gonna say. I think you go notices, yeah, I'm notices going whatever is to the right here yeah. and cautiously approaches. Yeah, okay. I cast I cast guidance on myself again because we're we're searching. This so, does not look so too good. You, um, in this little area, you don't see anything. The spiders that are on the walls kind of flee. They're little spiders. They flee at the light, um, and they kind of run and hide, and you can just hear their little legs just moving. But there is nothing aside from spider webs, a glittering crystal, a glittering and some crystal. mushrooms. Hello. Yeah, I mean, they're just emitting light they're all over the cave oh okay so we can't like get some crystals uh what's up what's up here <clears throat> it's cool we're like spelunking but in D and D, right okay this is the end of the cave there's right no there it doesn't look like there's anything down here or is it what 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 it oh why is my token just there? Oh, never mind. Because I Wait. Hadn't... If it's the end of the cave, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Else. Oh, you're right. I mm. see. Yeah. Very. <gasps> What's that? Ooh. What's that? Let's split up, gang. There's two directions. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> What's the oh, 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 me and, oh. Me and Daphne oh. will get the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> me and Daphne will get the bedroom, gang. <laughs> no, uh, what's this? Okay.
you find yourself at a gaping cavern with a panel off to the right. There is not enough room on the right or the left of the hole to squeeze past. And the cavern is greater than the length of your ropes. We just gonna pretend that cavern is bigger than 50 feet. Uh... The panel reads, put back together all my pieces and be sure to leave no creases. Once you say the truth revealed, the bridge will rise your path unveiled. Wait a minute. So there are... Th okay. Yeah. So there's there some pieces. There are three piles of stones separated in their own sconces. Oh, Above I, them, I... there are three divots in the panel where you believe a completed stone picture needs to be placed. What looks like a wooden wand stands off to the side of the panel, and below the panel is the tray of various symbols and pictures. So let's get to where we're gonna go. Whoa, okay, so, oh, so I'm like in here. Oh my God, it's a fucking QR code. Holy shit, can I like put these together? Can I drag them? So essentially there are six pieces and you need to, um, Put them back together, put them in their sconces, and then we'll figure out what needs to happen after that. <clears throat> hmm? Also, I will go ahead and tell you that QR codes are very picky. So if you can't scan it from the picture, that's fine. You just need to put it together. And then when I will look at how you did it. Hmm? They're like different. Okay. Okay. Okay, Isaac, are you done with yours? Yeah, just about. Complete your puzzles. You will notice in your handouts journal that the QR code becomes available to you. Wow, oh. this is so fucking cool. Let's go. Very oh, cool. I was missing a fucking piece. Oh, it's sick. So this goes right here. I see. Oh, okay. Um. So it's just it's just these. So do we scan these now? Yeah, so once Isaac, you put, well, Mako, you put your sconce, your completed picture into the little divot, and the wand beside you begins to glow. Gotcha. So, can I... Can, can you read the inscription again? Yes. Put back together all my pieces and be sure to leave no creases. Once you say the truth revealed, the bridge will rise, your path unveiled. Got it. So, can I take the wand? Yes, you can take the wand. And what do you do? Uh, Look at your handouts folder in the journal thing. Yeah, I completed mine. Oh, let's see if it actually scans. It'd be so fucking cool if it did. That's funny. Yeah, it's not going to. I tried it last night and it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Okay. Uh, so I completed mine. Uh, so Isaac, you took the well, Mako, you took the wand, and then what did you do with it? The wand is glowing. You've just put the picture in the divot. Oh, can I put my picture in the divot? 
Yes. There's only one wand, so uh, you gotta take turns. Okay. Can okay. I, can I, can I, I draw, or in the air, I draw like a shape that looks like a backwards C. And. Nope, the wand stops glowing. Okay. Uh, then I hand the wand to uh, someone else to try. Uh, okay, I take it. Can I, like, take the wand and say, uh, the truth revealed? No. Okay. It well, work. I mean, you you can do that and nothing happens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I, I don't know if I'd... Alright, do... Deja, your thing is in the, in the handouts folder of your journal. Okay. Um. My, uh... My, my picture looks like uh, a J and like an upside down E thing on the right of it, if that helps. Interesting. So at this point in time, you've completed your things. I'm going to bring you to here. Okay. Ah, my phone. Um, you can... Can I... Uh, figure this out. Make an insight yeah. check. Yeah. To like, An insight check. Insights like for people. Or like a, a check of some sort. <gasps> That's mine. What? Right there. I forgot. I forgot we could do that. Um, you forgot you could draw? Mine is. This is like, what mine looks picture? like. Mine has like a. It's like the. Zoom in. So it's like apostrophe L. Yeah, oh, it's like a, it's a. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, mine is yeah. It's just like mine this. is like backwards C colon. Okay. Oh, okay. So let me read the inscription again. Put back together all my pieces, and be sure to leave no creases. Okay. Once you say the truth revealed, the bridge will rise. Your path unveiled. Okay. So we already said the truth revealed and that did not work. Um so we got we got a a colon I, a backward C with a line under it. Mm-hmm. No, the line's no, not really the, there. Yeah, I was just highlighting. Oh, so it's just a backward C. Erase with a colon. <laughs> a colon. Yes. Maybe. <clears throat> So I'm just going to go ahead and say, since you already are looking at it, that the wand is to essentially scan the tablet yes. so that you can pull up your picture. Because yes. right, they don't have phones. Um, um, can I like do like a check for like a hint or something? Yeah, make a... Let's see. I want it to be an intelligence check of some kind. Let me let me see if if I recognize any of these glyphs uh, from yeah. you know experience or. Just learning. make an investigation check for me. Uh, do I still have uh, guidance? Yes. Okay. No. Go ahead and recast it. Okay, I'm gonna recast it. What is that? Um. No. Oh, no. I did two neither of you. Okay, what? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait. 8, eight 9, nine 10. 10. Wait. No. Okay, um. I cast guidance on, uh, Miranda, and I, like, uh, help her out. I used a help action by, like, putting my hand on her shoulder. I'm like, um, do you. Do, you, does, do any of these make sense to you? Okay. So, so uh, that means, Miranda, you now have advantage and guidance. Okay, so what? So I guess I need to do a investigation. Okay. All right. Okay. You so it. you <laughs> start. You look at the three symbols together. Mm-hmm. The three of your. Okay. So if you if you recall, I also said that there is a um, a panel with a tray of various symbols and pictures. Uh, Miranda, you're able, you've already picked, like you kind of sift through them and you pick out the, the symbols, the little, uh, their little tablets that have these pictures on them. 
Mm -hmm. And when you're looking at the three of them together, Mm -hmm. you realize that it's not a language per se, but a way of pronouncing common, which out of character means this shit is IPA. International phonetic alphabet. Oh, okay. I don't know how to read IPA. I don't know how to read. Um, Okay, I believe that uh, this is pronounced ch or some shit like that. Some weird, like, C. Okay. And then that looks like a schwa. That does. Yeah. Let's try to spell this. Okay. Um... If you want more help, you can make intelligence checks to see if these, any of these, now that you know what it is, Mm -hmm. um, if any of these uh, letters speak out to you. We could try all the different permutations of these three in order. In fact, words might, they might start with apostrophes and IPA, I don't know. But we don't know the order that they're in. Yeah. So the order from right to left was the sconce that Miranda was standing at, the okay. sconce that Maka was standing at, and then the sconce that Sainura was standing okay, at. So, so it's, it's this one. It's this. Okay. It's the order. Yes. This is probably pronounced j, like garage, like not garage, but like uh, gauge, like the end of gauge. Uh, okay, j. I believe. Can we, uh, can we like make in, like, can you make an intelligence, intelligence check to like yes. see, see, to see yes, what they're to pronounced Yes, to see as? one letter. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, am I still helping Miranda? Think, no, think, you helped her for the one roll, and she oh, figured yeah. out that they were IPA. Can I help her again? <laughs> okay, tell me how you're gonna help her. help her. How? Uh, so how I get help behind her, her and uh, like I kind of wrap my arms <laughs> around her waist, <laughs> like kind of like caressing. So like it's very, it's like very so warm. She's very uncomfortable. It's very warm and it's very like soothing, right? This strange Goliath woman whom I just met last night. <laughs> She saved my life. Look, okay, so yeah, I'm like, Shit. and then Marco is confused but slightly aroused. <laughs> and I, and I also cast guidance. Right. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got for me? What do you got? I guess I need you got to do this. this. You got this. You got how this. Is, how wow, Madam Modus, this is the most. This is, this is it's like emotional yeah, I, support. I say Miranda wow, is red right in the, the most face. She doesn't know what to do. She's already red right in the face. <laughs> Mako says, Mako says, I think I need help next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to do. Uh, you said intelligence, right? Yeah, just an intelligence roll. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> oh Lord. Let's go! She wow. Okay, so that is um. Wait, that's an intelligence you save. You intelligence save. I'm sorry, but, I clicked the wrong. But thing. that's okay. I'll take it. It's gonna be the same thing because I don't think that you have proficiency in no. intelligence save. You know that, like, you're kind of looking at them and you realize that this symbol is pronounced oh. "yuh," like a "yuh." Yeah, sound not yeah. yeah. Like the yeah. uh would be a different vowel, yeah. like like a yeah, yeah. This, like yeah. a yeah. yeah, yeah sound. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, like a y. It's a, it's a, it's a y. Okay, so that's yeah. This could be this 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 little little. Okay, uh, uh Mako reads the inscription again, which says. Um, I don't know back it. Back together all my pieces and be sure to leave no creases. Once you say the truth revealed, the bridge will rise, your path unveiled. Um, if that's this is a if this is like a Y sound, then I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna immediately assume that 
this one right beside it, even though I probably shouldn't assume. I'm gonna assume it's like a some vowel or of some sort. Um, mm -hmm. Isaac, do you know like any any IPA? I only know the schwa symbol. Okay, so and what's the schwa these, symbol? None do? of it is well. It's like an uh kind of sound, like in um. But it doesn't matter. We this, the schwa symbol isn't in in this word. I mean, it but that like last character symbol. looks. Yeah, that last character looks kind of like it, but that little tail it has so on like, it. So like, yeah, uh, uh. Um, Mako thinks back to her linguistics uh, lessons that she would have had maybe a decade ago, and tries to recall anything from them. Again, check. A what? Intelligence check. Got this. Got this. Straight up and down. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, nope. See, I'm being uh, helped. see, Mako no, needed Sinura's help. Yeah, I needed some help. <laughs> maybe like a, let me maybe like you. Maybe like a head pat or something. Or like, or like a shoulder massage. Can I like give Mako a shoulder massage? <laughs> That is you not could definitely like, that do is that. not helping. Yes, like, it is. How That's does helping. that help <laughs> figure out what a symbol is? It clears your mind. Okay. It lets you all roll an extra die and take the higher yeah. of which one that you roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Mako oh. pictures a dodecahedron like tumbling. Uh, for a second and then <laughs> comes back to reality. God, okay. But you already rolled, right? You can't do it again. Correct. Okay. I mean, okay, so I'm gonna say Deja's roll was for this symbol. Hold on. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Do that. Can we... Okay. And Isaac's roll was for this symbol. Okay. So you still this have one? two symbols. Okay, I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give... I'm gonna... Cast guidance on Mako and give Mako like a shoulder massage. The shoulder <laughs> massage is not gonna help. Yeah, <laughs> head scratch. What about a head scratch? The head, no. That no. definitely stimulates a a, a taboxy. Come on. Stimulates stimulates the senses, bro. It's like five gum. Roll. What am I rolling? Intelligence check. Again. With guidance and help. <gasps> Let's go. God. Sensual shoulder. Let's go. Fuck, Isaac. Wow. I think I was just distracted. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this symbol, you kind of are piecing it together, and you can remember that this like backwards C is a vowel sound of ah. Okay, so we got ah. Uh, we have something ah uh, ah uh, uh, a. Right, because a ah uh, and y would be i. Oh no, 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 no! You're confusing IPA. If a i would be a different vowel sound, it would be a oh, different so it's shape. Oh, so it's ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, can I cast guidance on myself and try to do an investigation check on the first one? Yes. Okay. What is it with me and fucking low rolls today, bro? Hold on, let me just... Four. Nope. Uh, uh. Okay, Miranda, do you do you have a uh, do you do you uh, have any idea what this uh, first glyph could mean? The which one? The backward looking the, the eye with the tilde. Eye. Oh, now is uh, this in common? Is this written in common, or is it like it's, written in? It's not written in common per se. It's the equivalent if there were like an IPA for all of the languages. It's it's literally IPA, which are different symbols based on the sound, the sounds of words. Okay. Um, 
Which one? Well, which one do we not know the sound the, for? The first one. That first glyph. Okay. But that first what? glyph does look a lot like our letter that sounds like la. I mean, you can always just try to like put L- shit together. La la ya. Because he's a liar. <laughs> liar. <laughs> this is like. What is that game called? Mad Gab? <laughs> oh. Liar, liar. No, it's not liar. You, no, it's not liar. Oh, dang it. Um. <laughs> uh. Let me. Liar is, uh, is like an open eye sound. You need liar. a. Liar. Uh, liar. 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 Are you saying these words out loud? Yes. <laughs> okay, you say the word liar and the bridge begins to lift from the ground. Let's go! Yeah! Let's fucking go, bro! <laughs> I knew, I knew I had it. Okay. Oh, bro. The stone floor appears before you, rising oh from God. unknown depths slowly. Let's Once go. it is level, you are free to walk Woo! across. Let's go! Too easy. Too, Too easy, easy, bro. I didn't even doubt myself for fun. I'm so fucking smart, bro. Dude, like, he can't even, bro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yo, this fucking 10 Why intelligence is score is fucking coming in crazy. Play, <laughs> okay, can, okay. We walk, can we walk across now? Or I can do that. Oh, hit. I want we're going to let you draw us. the bridge. Wait, yeah, we, we wait. Cross. What was what was uh to the to the top? I was wondering the same thing. Can we still go back there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm I guess I'll go to. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm. That last symbol is a schwa, but like a modified schwa, and it makes an er sound. Yep. And the colon makes you close, so it's long. Oh, uh, this looks like a pumpkin. I don't know what that is. Or it's a yeah, brat. What is that? Do you <clears throat> want to yeah, let's see what that see is? What it is, uh, it is a mushroom. Head. Your eyes can tell it is a mushroom. <laughs> can we take it? Can I, can no. Can I see if it's edible? <laughs> Yeah, you can make a survival check on okay. any of the mushrooms in the cabin. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. I believe y'all Not by that? eating it. Not I'm by not eating, eating it, it, but just by, like, no, but, like, by seeing if I recognize yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm a survival guy. Oh, so survival I'm, Me too. I'm like, <laughs> Me too. I, I, I got this. I got, oh, okay, we're both survival gals. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I have four on survival. Hey! Twinsies. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> well, let me let me Do I see still if. Have uh, yes. This man can't always have guidance. That's just not fair. What are you talking? It lasts for like a minute. Yeah, and I just keep... which is a deceptively yeah. long time. Yes. Okay, fourteen. Okay. You just have a tick. You just have a tick where every minute so you do that. So you recognize this particular mushroom right here as nuts and in- ink cap what? it's called nuts ink cap okay like ink cap okay um and it is a mundane mildly toxic mushroom nope give okay. me that <laughs> i take it <laughs> give me that <laughs> do you say that you take the mushroom <laughs> yes <laughs> give me that you just fucking snatch it <laughs> Yep, I take okay. it. So what Put do I have in my inventory? Ink cap in your inventory. Like the word nuts Perfect. and then ink cap. To, like word. N-U-T-S. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so now you have this mildly toxic mushroom. Perfect. I'm going to hold on to it. Mm-hmm. And make sure it doesn't uh, get in, Get make sure it's not near my mess kit in my backpack. Uh, my car, you get, okay. We're walking. We're walking. walking. Yes. Um. Let's see. Hold on. Let's slow it down here, cause I feel like we're gonna run into something or someone that doesn't want us here. We can take them. I whisper 
to you the party. You make your way deeper into the cave. Yeah, and I reassure you, you he can take him. You can smell something rank, uh, as if something were rotting away and festering. Somebody ripped you ass. Here, before that was definitely you, you Malmonis. I love this. Love this. Oh God. <laughs> So let me just reread everything I just yes, read. Yes, yes, yes. As you make your way deeper into the cave, you can smell something rank, as if something were rotting away and festering. Okay. You hear before you see a giant. No. Spider. Giant enemy spider. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use up one of my spell slots. I'm like shh shh. Do you hear that? That doesn't sound good. And I cast Shield of Faith on myself. That is going to give me a plus two AC for 10 minutes, but I cannot cast any concentrations. Um, while oh, you can't is, do guidance. No, yeah, guidance. Do guidance. Okay, I draw my longbow in okay. preparation. Okay. It heard you as well. So it is oh. making its way downtown, walking oh. fast. Faces pass and it's homebound. Did it, 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 Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. And I did not click on myself. So, can you assign me the initiative I rolled, or do I have to re roll it? I can assign you the initiative you rolled. Okay. Yeah. About I'd to rather kill do that because that's fair. So, 8.17. Actually, just re roll the initiative and then I'll go in and fix it. Okay. With your token selected. Yes. The giant. Enemy spider. Oh, well, we can take Let's that see. value if you want. <laughs> it was like 8.17. Oh, snap. Battle music. It really doesn't make a difference, although I'm a hundredth faster than the spider on my real, real roll. I am cringing in real life at said giant enemy spider. <laughs> Our initiative order. This spider sees all three of you. Huh? You are going first Miranda what do you do um okay where he's right he's like right here ain't he yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> kind okay. of difficult to see um I don't really want to get all of his business too too much because both me and Miranda do not like spiders like that <laughs> I want to use my short bow so can I move right here yes and then I want to do my short bow. Okay. Okay, that will hit for four points of damage. Next is Mako. Cool. We're going to move right here. And fire our longbow. Okay. It lags for me. Okay. That is going to hit. You didn't have advantage, which sucks. It takes six points of damage. Right. Okay, next is mm. the spider. Giant enemy mm. spider. Ew. <laughs> the spider, <laughs> that spider is going to attempt to web Mako. Oh. So this is what's going to happen. <laughs> Okay. okay, it doesn't hit, so you don't have Good. to worry about that. The webbing, it kind of tries to shoot at Mako, but it thrown off by the flame. Um, the torch, it's so used to darkness that it misses slightly and just shoots right in between you. It still gets a little bit of your arm on your fur and stuff, but mm -hmm. it, you're not fully restrained by this webbing. Gotcha. Okay, so that was <coughs> his turn. 
Next is Sinura. Okay, so I drop my torch as a free action. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh, charge up to it. And uh, technically, you're up to it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to grapple on it. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna have to do for me is that we're gonna do um, a strength contest. Okay. Um, that's gonna be my attack action. Um, and I believe it is. I do an athletics check, and you do either an athletics or acrobatics, whichever one you want to do. Um, and if I am higher, then uh, I grapple. So, not like a strength ability score check, but like an athletics or um, acrobatics check. He doesn't have proficiency in athletics, so it's the same number. Okay. Now it is grappled. Um. So. Okay. Did I move? Uh, did I move any when I tried to grapple, or I was already up to it? You were already up to it. Okay. So uh, my speed drops to half because I am carrying or dragging a creature. Um. So now my movement speed is 15. Um. I'm going to drag the spider uh, farther back away from Mako and uh, Miranda, which is going to be one, two, three spaces. Okay, so it's right there. Yeah. Okay, so a grappled creature's speed becomes zero. It can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. The condition also ends if an effect removes the grappled creature from reach of the grappler grappler effect. And that's all with grapple. It just yeah. can't move. And uh, I end my turn. Okay. Next, we're back at the top of the order with Miranda. <clears throat> All right, Miranda still wants to use her short bow, but I'm gonna move slowly, Sl slightly, slowly. Wow, slightly closer, I guess, but not like okay. super close. Cause once again, Miranda don't like spiders. So, okay, yeah, I want to use the short bow again, and yeah, here, here we go. Bang. Uh, you do nine points of damage excellent all right this spider is not looking good it is bleeding it is it is and it's like legs are moving frantically from where it is grappled by Sinura. um it is not having a good time i like, I like hold it up and i'm like here and like you shoot it and it like goes straight through but if you hold it up and go straight through it, hit you too. I know, like I hold it away from me. Oh, like okay, okay, okay. I got what you said. <laughs> oh, okay. Next is Mako's turn. Right. So with the spider being grappled, I'm actually going to run up to it and uh, swipe at it with my claws. Yeah, give him a good scratch. 18. Gonna wow. hit. Bruh. Oh. All right. Cool one thing. damage. You swipe at it. Yep, you swipe at it for one good old one slashing damage. Um, now it's the spider's turn. <laughs> the spider cannot move. Um, it's going to try to bite Sindura, who is literally holding it down. Okay? Um, but it rolled a 12. Yeah, my so AC is 18, hit. yeah. All right, Sinura, your turn. Um, it's like, nah, fuck a weapon. I'm just going to punch it in the face. Okay. Like, I'm just going to scream. And, like, I'm just going to yell. Let's go. Right? And punch it in the face. What is a what is an unarmed attack? D4, typically. It's going to be a D4 plus your strength modifier. Uh, What is it to hit? Just a D20? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Okay. Um, D4 plus my strength. That's going to be... Uh, do I roll it twice or... Yes. Okay, so... 2D4. 2. 3. Uh, so plus, 5. Plus 3, which is 8. 
Eight. All right. So the punch that you deliver like to right the to its spider, face, right to its face, right to its face, crushes its head and all of its uh, brains and everything inside of it, and it stops. It like jolts real fast, and then its legs fall limp. Let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you have killed the giant enemy spider. spider. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, I drop Here. it, um, and then I go pick up my torch. Okay, your friendly friend, the torch. Friendly friend, the torch. Friendly friend, the torch. <coughs> okay, so that was a spider. All right. Is this another? Is this another mushroom over here? Yeah, there's mushrooms everywhere. What Let's about go. these brown mushrooms? Can I? Uh... Can I, uh, you want a survival check those brown mushrooms? Yeah, can I cast Guidance and uh, do a yeah. survival check on it? Yep. Okay, I have to, I'm have i dropping uh, Shield of Faith. Um, okay. Okay, survival check. Let's go. Public roll. And D4. Oh, that's 15. Okay. 16, 17, 18. So this is an Elder Tooth Crust, the brown ones are. Okay. It is a mundane edible mushrooms and as you go over and pick it up uh you miranda and also signer who was picking up the mushrooms um recognize it as a a, a, a a nice tasting mushroom um tieflings typically use it in poultry dishes let's go huh? okay um you i want guess to I, mushrooms uh, yeah i guess i, wanted... I pick them and put them in my bag that's another yeah. nuts ink cap isaac Okay, awesome. Yes. All right. Um, Behind the carcass of the spider is a Yo, spiraling that a staircase. Uh uh uh. Yo! Oh my god. Is that a child's bot? Can I like go up and see like what? Yeah. Can we inspect that? Hello? Yeah. 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 Okay. What? What do we got? Okay, so you cut open and there is just a skeleton that is disintegrating and acid and you can tell that this is where the smell from earlier was coming from but it is not a child size body Uh, oh mm. okay that's a whole whole adult yeah okay Okay. Um, um and then you also see a staircase yeah, must be a spider. The spider's last victim. So yeah. you follow the stairs up and find yourselves on the other side of a wooden door that is bolted tight with a thick padlock. Okay. Anybody want to try to bust it down? Yeah. Can I? Uh, do I still have guidance? Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> Can I, like, make, a, like, some type of strength-related check to just fucking, like, elbow charge the door? Yeah, go ahead and make a strength check for me. <clears throat> uh, D4? Nah, okay. Uh, 15. Oh. Ooh, okay, so you elbow this door, and the first elbow you shul- kind of give... Shoulder charge, yeah. Shoulder charge. The first bump you give, you can hear the door kind of splinter, but it does not uh, give way. And then you do one more haul, boom, and the door sprays open in a, in a splintery burst. Um, and when you get to the other side, you find yourselves in the stable of a rundown hut. And in front of you lies a well traveled road okay wait so we're okay like... back outside yeah we're back outside yeah yes okay so i guess what? i guess we're just gonna follow the road and hey, hold on before we do that we okay. have some business to attend to okay we are going to level up <laughs> 